It's your boy Lagin24 coming at you with another top five and today we're going to be doing the top five best things about Gorad Krovi. Now this could be anything from a feature in the map, the map's layout itself, easter egg steps, different traps, there's a lot of different things to cover on this map. So if you find anything in this video that you didn't agree with, leave your list down below in the comment section and without further ado let's get right into number five. Okay, so this one seems like a no-brainer to me, but you get to ride a dragon in this map. And it's as simple as that. There really doesn't need to be an explanation. You're on a dragon flying from one spot of the map to another. You're flying a dragon. I mean, come on, people. It's a dragon. Coming in the number four spot is going to be the PPSH-41. This gun is beloved by zombie players worldwide, and the last time most of us have played with it is in World at War. This is a powerful submachine gun with a very high rate of fire, and its ammo capacity is that of an LMG. It's ridiculous. The PPSH-41 can be acquired out of the mystery box, and of course it can be pack-a-punch, which will make the gun more powerful and give it a ton of ammo. It becomes the Grim Reaper at this point. Now, sadly, it only made number four on the list because there are some incredible incredible weapons on this map and i feel like this gun has been slightly altered from its world at war version just enough to where it's not going to make that number one or two spot like some of you may have thought time for number three and that spot belongs to the guard of fafnir and i'm talking about the zombie shield the dragon shield in garad karovi is amazing they have improved upon this shield tremendously and this by far in my opinion is the best shield we have seen in a zombie map to date all three parts are very easy to find and once of course you build it you can equip it and have it on your back for back protection but it doesn't stop there you can also melee with it but what's really cool what's really unique about this particular zombie shield is you have a ranged attack in the form of dragons fire in which you can set zombies on fire the shield also has a very cool upgrade to which makes the fire attack even better so i really like this shield because you can stay at a distance and still kill zombies and of course its most practical feature just simply having it on your back definitely adds an extra layer of protection okay coming in the number two spot it's gonna be the gauntlet of siegfried this thing is amazing so what we've got here is a specialist weapon and in order to get it you're essentially hatching your very own dragon egg by going through some steps but once you acquire this beastly item you're actually able to use the dragon that is now perched on your arm to breathe fire at zombies and if that's not enough you can also launch the dragon in the air essentially having your own personal escort drone following you around shooting zombies from above with its flame now if that wasn't enough while your dragon's up in the air covering you you now have this amazing gauntlet at your disposal where you could super punch your way through the zombie hordes you're gonna be really surprised at how long this specialist item lasts i think by far this might be the best specialist item we've seen so far in black ops 3 it's definitely the most unique and i absolutely love it this one had to make it high on the list but if that was number two i think you guys all have a pretty good idea of what's gonna be number one Okay guys, you guessed it, of course it's going to be the GKZ45 Mark III, so this is pretty unique for a wonder weapon. What we've got essentially is two separate wonder weapons that work together as a team. Now what's also really cool about this wonder weapon is you can get it from the box. You don't have to go through a million steps to acquire this thing, so it's nice to just go up to the box and get the new ray gun. So on the left hand side you've got your GKZ45, which shoots like an energy blast that'll slow the zombies down. And in your right hand, you've got the new Mark III ray gun, which works a lot like, I would say, the Mark II because it actually penetrates. There's no splash damage. Uh, it's fully auto, and I think it's got a higher rate of fire than the original ray gun. So this thing is an absolute beast. Now, which makes this gun really cool is if you shoot the GKZ and then you shoot the yellow energy ball with the Mark III, you then create a black hole very similar to what we see with the Gersh device or with the Apothecan Servant. Now it's got less of a range, so it doesn't suck the zombies in from across the map or anything like that, but zombies within its general vicinity will dissipate into nothing. 
And of course you can pack a punch this weapon which will provide additional ammo and increase the duration, the range, and the damage of the black hole effect. This is a very, very cool wonder weapon, and that was number one on the list. I also want you guys to leave down in the comment section what you hated about this map, because I'm also going to be doing a top five worst Garad Karovi episode very soon. And also, what is your favorite ray gun? The original, the Mark II, or now the Mark III that we see in Garad Karovi? Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy Lagin24, and I will see you... Uh, next time.